Hello and welcome to a new episode of Bahraini Dishes Cooking Show. My name is Chef Ali Youssef and today I'll be cooking for you Gishid. Gishid is baby shark. Um, kind of, you can make it stew, you can make it curry, you can make it dry or watery as, as you like it. It's fine. Um, to prepare that we have um, baby shark. I have cut it into um, slices and I have coriander and then I have tomatoes, then I have onions, shredded uh, ginger and shredded garlic, chopped chilies, salt and spices, whole spices that gonna go with um, boiling the fish. Let's put the heat up and also I'm going to add the spices later, we'll go through them why was we going? This water has been pre preheated, so we don't wait long time. I'm going to place the baby shark into the pot. This, this dish, it's one of the famous dishes in Bahrain. And it's very strong meal. It's uh, preferably in the, in the winter because, you know, this is, gives you heat a little bit. We're going to add the spices to the fish, bay leaves cinnamon, cloves, cardamom, black pepper, and stars. One part uh, the salt now. Uh, it will help us to get the meat very tender shortly. And then once it's ready, then we'll have to fill it. We'll take the bones off. And then from there, we'll start uh, doing it. We'll leave it there for an hour. We'll leave it there for an hour and then we'll get back to you to continue. Welcome back and we have done almost 40 minutes actually, not an hour yet, but um, we're gonna let it go there uh, while we do the uh, the base of the uh, dish, actually. Let me put a little bit of uh, turmeric. It doesn't matter how many spoon, it's just, you need give it a beautiful color and better smell. Mix it, leave it there. Put the heat up for the other pot. Turmeric is very good, actually. It's, uh, it's an antibiotic for the food. It is very good, it's strong, kills all the bacteria, and especially with me, if you notice in every dishes I do boiling, I do put turmeric. Uh, I meat, chicken, um, uh, mutton, beef, fish, it has to. It cleans it up. Uh, oil. Then we're going to put the onion first. And uh, some people like to, put, uh, to include tomato paste. If you wish, you can put, if you don't want, that's still fine. It's not necessary, but I'm using today um, um, fresh tomatoes and instead of uh, tomato paste. In this dish, I'm not gonna put any whole uh, spices. It's just that I put, but in here, I don't need really. So we'll, we'll saute the onion first. We'll let it sizzle here. 
Then once we change the color, we will add the tomatoes. Now I'm going to add the tomatoes. Adding the tomatoes, I'm going to add with it a little bit of uh, black pepper and salt. You know why? Because when she put salt with the tomatoes, it starts uh, watering out. And if you don't put salt, it will dry. Black pepper and some salt in here. Because remember, we'll put the rest of the salt later, not now. We'll mix it. Leave it there. For now, um, meanwhile, I'm going to turn this off. And that actually, uh, it depends on you and how long you want it to be there. And uh, it's the longer you keep it, it's the more tender it gets. Remember, this is sharks, just like beef, you know. The meat is very, um, the meat is really, really tough. That's done there. We're done with this. With that. First side. We'll just wait for the water to drain off out of it and then we we'll start to fill it. We're back here, let's mix it. Hmm, smells good. Now I'm going to add the garlic, shredded garlic. And then I'm going to add shredded ginger. And yes, some people might ask, uh, can we put the, the mix uh, ginger and garlic paste? Can't we get it ready made from the market? Yes, you can, but it will give you a different taste. Know the exact that you were expecting it. I'm gonna reduce the heat here. As we put the heat down there, let's check this. Oh, it is tender. Actually, it's done. And see, and that's the bone. It gets off really quickly. Let me get the bowl, and we let's work on this. Simply easy. You press it, check, no any bones, nothing. Throw it in there. Make sure you don't have bones. We'll, uh, we'll do this actually and then we'll get back to you once we're done. Welcome back and we are done with our uh, baby shark fillet and now I'm going to mash it up a little bit, make it a little bit more messy, and then we'll add it in the pan. It should be messy enough, and then um, we will uh, get it more messy. <laughs> I mean, scrambled. And it will look like scrambled egg, actually, later. And um, if you add um, water and or um, tomato paste, it will be like um, stew, and you don't want to stew, right? I'm not doing stew, we're doing the gishid thing. Almost mixed, and now I'm going. Before everything else, I'm going to add fresh coriander, and. Um, First, I'm going to put this uh, chopped chili. And then, maybe half a bunch of uh, coriander. That gives it beautiful smell and taste. 
Then we mix it again. Mmm, that smells good. Yet, we need to salt it now. Because there's no salt in there. Just a little bit was for the tomatoes. A little bit of salt. That will be for tablespoon. Mix it. Now we're talking. Now, spices time. A little bit of turmeric. I would say half tablespoon. And coriander powder. Um, half tablespoon. I'm not putting a lot of spices in this, just uh, half tablespoons are enough. And this is cumin powder. Also half tablespoon. And then we have the Bahrain Bzar. I will put one tablespoon. That's mixed spices actually, Bahraini mixed spices. Highly recommended from uh, Habbat Aish. And a little bit of um, fish powder here. And if you wish, you can put uh, red chili powder if you want it spicy. If not, then you just carry on as, as it is. Now, um, lemon juice. Half lemon is enough. One lemon juice, mix it. A little, little bit of water. And then we need to break it. Now, think of breaking it. Because some of it is not, it's not broken yet. So we need to scramble it all the way. Now, reduce the heat. And just leave it to have its own um, flavors. Get it done. I'm, I'm getting things ready to plate it. I will leave it there in a, almost medium to low uh, heat. And then I leave it for five, ten minutes. And then from there we plate it. Bear with me in five to ten minutes, I'll get back to you. And welcome back, and here we come to the final uh, part of this uh, dish. Wow, this is, smells good, uh, time to plate it now. Uh, now we have reached to our uh, Gishid. This is how it looks. That looks perfect. And it can be more watery if you want it to. You can add also uh, tomato paste if you want to. This is without tomato paste. And this is without a lot of water. I just splash it a little bit so it won't be too dry because I personally don't like it too dry. Some people does like it uh, dry. And as I said now, um, as I said earlier, uh, also you've got to be careful when you eat it. Uh, it might, not for sure, it might have some bones. Let, let's make it look beautiful. We garnish it with uh, fresh coriander and lemon that, uh, and uh, it's served with um, served with bread our local bread as we call it hobbies there you go I uh, hope you like our gashid this is very local seafood very strong meal hope you enjoy the recipe And 
now we have done with our main dish. And now we're going to the side dish, something called hamfarouche. Hamfarouche is like uh, patty cakes, small ones, sweet, uh, served with gahwa, our Arabic coffee. And it contains saffron and rose water, and simulina powder, and they got uh, all purpose flour can use flour number two also if you can buy it from the bakeries and we have also sugar and we have tin can milk and two eggs that's it we're going to mix all this together we mix it and then we will proof it and keep it in the fridge for at least one hour because in the fridge because it has eggs so it has to be in the fridge We can start with, I will start with the egg. I'll start with the liquid stuff. Some people will do the egg separately because they're afraid the egg might be off or something. So, so I'll buy, as I said, I'm going with liquid first. Um, let's whisk the egg first. I'm going to add the milk. Then we're adding the milk, um, tin can milk. Do you know what tin can milk, right? Is what we use for tea with milk and that. And keep mixing. Make sure everything is mixed really well, not. Then followed by rose water and saffron. Beautiful color in there. Then sugar. Uh, sh sugar, it's one and a half, uh, one and a half cup. It's getting thicker. Then semolina. Another, actually, two cups of semolina. In Arabic, we call it samid. Just wanted to say it, actually. <laughs> right, and uh, then followed by the all purposes flour. Now, Let's mix it till it's mixed. And then, um, before I go for frying it, um, I would add, um, they call it uh, baking powder. And because if I put it now, um, it will be useless for later. So I'm adding it later. Uh, before I start um, uh, frying them and then after frying or uh, during frying I'm going to add sesame seeds um, on top of it and then from there I'll show you how then you get the idea we will keep this for one hour in the fridge and then we get back to you to fry it We'll come back and here it is after more than one hour actually. I left it and I forgot about it and uh, I just realized that, oh, our dough is waiting for us for Kham Farouche. Uh, can I prepare one spoon, a teaspoon or tablespoon, one tablespoon of baking powder. I'm gonna put it now because I, as I told you earlier, I'm gonna put it now because I'm going to do it now and Let's put this on medium heat. 
Uh, let's mix it as well. And also, I'm not sure if I mentioned that to you earlier or not, but let me remind you, uh, this khamfarush can be made also out of uh, a rice powder uh, or a rice uh, uh, starch instead of uh, samuli. And also, if you if you put in the oil, don't make it too deep. Just put it slightly, just a little bit, not not too much. And I'll tell you what we're going to do with the sesame seeds. All right, this you don't have to put full spoon. Yeah, we do almost half spoon. You need to have small size. You do it round. As you see, the oil is not too hot yet, but anyway, we'll still do it, don't worry. <laughs> we'll do it round. And oh, uh, regarding the sesame seeds, We can add it on top of it, like that. And then keep the oil on top of it because the oil is not too hot. So nothing is going on. We'll keep it that way for now. We, we will go on. Khafarush is one of the eldest uh, um, snacks or mini cakes you could say uh, sweet and small and eatable and at any time with uh, Arabic coffee you can you can adjust with the size also if you want it big you make it you take a bigger spoon and you do it but I'm doing the small ones better Actually, it makes you eat more because it's small. That was our khamfarush for today. After our main course, we should have this with our Arabic coffee. Thank you for watching and wait for us another day tomorrow for another delicious dish with me. Thank you for watching and goodbye.